Hey, Steve Green with Topcat Fishing Tackle. I wanted to get with you and show you a few of the rigs that uh, we like to use. Um, I am an active fisherman. I do not like to sit on the anchor and wait for fish to come find me. I like to move around and try to find the fish. Once I move around and find a pot of fish that are active or a fish that's active, I can kind of start to try to establish a pattern. If I'm catching fish in a certain depth of water, uh, in a certain location on a river outside bends, or in a, uh, you know, the more that you catch, the more that you can try to replicate that area or that particular situation where you caught that fish and try to, uh, you know, get on more fish. So, uh, again, I'm always looking for the active fish, uh, the active feeders, and I am actively, I tell people, I'm not fishing, I'm hunting, and once I find the fish, then I go to fishing, but initially I'm hunting for fish. So that's kind of what I'm up to. Uh, we're going to do some different things than uh, a lot of people are doing for catfish. <clears throat> this is called a, a diver. Um, this one happens to be a lure Jensen diver. Uh, the theory behind these are that um, you control them and instead of using an amount of weight to get you down to a certain depth, they have these divers anywhere from a, a number 10 that will run about 10 feet down to, um, you know, they've got them all the way up to I think 50s, so you can run 50 feet down. By trolling this, this one is a uh, 20, you can troll this thing and it will actually go down to 20 feet and your bait will be presented in the 20 foot zone. This actual leader should be uh, about the length of your rod, but uh, this is kind of like how we uh, we like to fish them. These are called spinning glows. I'll show you a little bit closer what the detail is of them. But they cause some turbulence. They allow your bait to float up just a little bit. And, uh, you know, if you're close to the bottom, uh, I run a double hook rig almost exclusively. Uh, I like to snell my hooks. Sometimes I use a snell hook, which has a bent eyelet on it. Sometimes I will use a straight shank hook which will allow the hook to be what they call loaded, which means point up and point out where they're, uh, you know, in a position to hook better. So uh, kind of depends on what I'm doing and, uh, you know, where I am. But uh, I do like a double hook rig. There's a lot of times when uh, we'll be running double hook rigs, especially if you're getting a lot of hits and not catching fish. They're not super aggressively feeding. Uh, it's more of just a game that they play, and you're, they're just barely getting a hold of you. If you put that trailer hook way back in the very back of your bait, as they short hit you like that, you're going to end up starting to catch those fish. There are times when we will catch between 40 and 60% of our fish on our trailer hook. So if we were fishing single hook rigs, we would be missing, missing a lot of fish. Uh, I'll zoom in now, and you can kind of, I'll, I'll show you some of these knots and, uh, you know, what I'm doing, but, uh, uh, this diver, again, allows you to get to certain depths, and by changing divers, you can fish different water tables. I like to back troll. If you're on a river where there is enough current to push the boat down the river, I will motor up the river half the speed of the current. Uh, so if the current's flowing downstream six miles an hour and you're motoring upstream three miles an hour, the net result is that you are going downstream backwards at three miles an hour. The pull on this uh, at that speed when you're doing that, that will take this down to depth 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet, 50 feet, whatever depth of water you're in. And you can fish different ones at different depths. If I'm running four rods, I'm going to have two or three depths at least till I zero in on where the fish are. Uh, put these down and again you're slowly back trolling down the river trying to work your boat backwards through the best water that you can find, the deeper channels, the bigger slots, over structure that might hold fish, things of that nature. So uh, that's kind of what we're doing. I'll, I'll zoom in and I'll give you these knots real quick. Right, I'll show you real quickly the difference between a snell hook and a non uh, hook for a snell knot. This is a straight shank hook. This is a snell hook. It's got the eyelet bent back. The thinking is that as the uh, you wrap the eyelet, it comes right back through. Your energy is straight up and down. The when you hook, when you tie these, and again I use uh, the um, knot that a uh, uh, snell knot, knotless snell knot. Just pull enough through to get a hold of. Just start wrapping that bad boy around the shank about seven times. And then come back in through the back of the eye. And then when you pull it down, 
it's knotless because it will still uncoil. The beauty of this knot is that when you tie really high test poundage of a, a mono, when you pull the knot through, it will heat up and you will lose strength because of the, the heat and the abrasion of the knot. So by using this knotless, uh, it just works super, super great. But that leaves that hook where it's kind of in a, a positive position because the energy is pulling at an angle on the hook. If you were to do a, a, a snell hook, let's do this little snell hook. It'll be like a double rig. Same exact thing, come through the eyelet. And just wrap that bad boy about seven times or so. I don't know, that might have been eight. Come back in. Drop it in from behind. And pull it down again. That's knotless. It will loosen up, but as soon as it gets tension on it, it's going to come tight. And see that hook's going to hang pretty straight compared to the one is going to hang a little bit more loaded with the uh, you know the line coming through that straight shank that way. We fish a ton of double uh, hooked rigs, and again, like I said earlier, we just uh, we catch a bunch of fish on that trailer hook. So I really like a double hook rig. Slide that line right through the eye. Come back, same exact thing. Seven times around. right back up through the top pull that thing down now you got a double hook rig and again um, you can uh, use a big hook in the front little hook in the back little hook in the front big hook in the back you can uh, space them out different spaces for different size baits and uh, just gives you a lot of uh, you know different things you can do with it when I'm fishing them I love to put on whoops a bead and I'll thread on a spinning glow or two depending on how big of a bait I'm going to be using if I'm going to be using a relatively small bait one will kind of these things are going to spin in the current and they're going to make some turbulence give you the fish a little bit of something a sonic nature to hone in on and um, you know if I'm going to be running two of them um, I might throw another bead on and uh, run a second one. If I got a really large bait and I'm wanting to kind of float that thing up just a little bit, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with running two of them. And that's the rig right there, man. Um, give it a try. See what you think. Uh, uh, you know, snell your hooks. It's a it's a really good way to to hook on. It's super tough. Uh, and then again, we'll come back with this about a rod's worth of leader and come back on to uh, to the diver and that diver will actually pull that down in the current whether you're trolling pulling it along making it go down or whether the current is pulling it down as you back troll that's the rig give it a try see what you think thanks